Hello everybody, welcome back to round two of March Bagness. So today I'm going to take the winners from last week and they are going to compete against each other to try and make it to round three. <music> single elimination so the bags that get cut today are out of the competition same criteria as far as like springy kind of summery bags go I'm gonna be looking at color price um, function and pockets and then also the comfort of the bag so let's get started all right first up I have the Hap Levy in the dusty rose color versus the Lily Jade Madeline in brandy I'm just looking on the outside I would for sure say that the Hap brand Levy is um, definitely more of like a springy color. It's the same on the inside and out. Um, the brandy color is really good for all year round, I would say, and the interior does have that really beautiful pop of the teal blue color. That does help it make it look a little more springy and summery, but um, for sure I think the clear winner for color is gonna be the Hap. As far as price goes, these are both really nice high-end bags. The Lily Jade is obviously gonna be more expensive because it is a true leather bag. This hat brand bag will win when it comes to price. I think it's around 180, and the Lily Jade is more around 300. For function and pockets, these bags are both convertible, so they both can be backpack style, and they both can be messenger style. So there's D-rings here, and you have this messenger strap. These backpack straps are attached. You have the um, D-rings here to attach your messenger strap. And then you have the backpack straps on the back. But on Madeline, you also get the tote straps. So that's really nice. On the inside here, there are no internal pockets, but you do, um, it does come with insert that has a lot of organization in it that you can use. And then the hat brand just has a lot of really great elastic pockets and zippered pockets in here to help you stay organized. There's even a large back pocket here. You do have really great bottle pockets here that fit nice big water bottles. So for me, I would say the one that has more function would probably be this hat brand. For cleanability, these are actually gonna be kind of similar. Um, the Lily Jade is obviously since it's a leather bag, it just needs to be conditioned and weatherproofed a little bit. Um, and then the hat brand bag, while it does have some water resistance, it only is spot clean. You cannot throw this into the washing machine. They're both um, wipeable and cleanable. So in terms of cleanability, I would say they're kind of a tie. They are actually both really comfortable bags, but because this bag does have the mesh backpack straps with the memory foam inside, um, I'm gonna say that the hat brand wins for comfort. So my spring and summer choice between these two bags would be the hat brand levy in the dusty rose color next up is two jujube bags i thought this was only fair because jujube is really um one of the only brands that you can truly throw your bag into the washing machine and really get it nice and clean by washing it that way here we have the jujube super b and this is the jujube b right back for color I would say between the two, I think they're both really nice spring and summer colors, but I think this Super B wins. For price, um, the Super B is also going to win there. It's about $60, whereas the Be Right Back is about $150. But as you can see, it is not a structured bag at all, so that makes sense. For function and pockets, definitely the Jujube BRB is going to win there. Um, I do think they're both really functional. You can use this Super B for a lot of different things. But for me, during the spring and summer, I really do like to have a backpack option, and the BRB has that. Plus, it just has way more organization. It comes with a changing pad, and I think for for me, that's the one that I would want to have if I had to choose between the two for function. For comfort, they both are really comfortable bags, but again, I'm going to say the BRB just because it does have these really comfortable squishy backpack straps that have the mesh to keep you cool, and it does also have the whole back of the bag is that nice mesh material. So between the two Jujube bags, the BRB wins this round. Okay, next up I have the Miss Fong bag in navy, and then I also have the Ryla pack in a really pretty gray color. I think they're both really beautiful colors for summer, and I don't think I can choose, so I'm just gonna say that's a tie on the color. For price, the Miss Fong will win there. It does retail for just around $50, whereas the Ryla pack um, is more around like $100. For function and pockets, you have lots of different um, pockets for organization, and then you have a changing pad back here. You have pockets on the outside. You can fit water bottles in here, grab handle, 
and another back pocket on the back. And then you do have the backpack straps that you can detach and stick into this pocket. So this bag is really functional. Um, the Ryla pack, I, I tend to like this fabric that's on the outside of it more. It's just more smooth and soft and feels a little more high end. So I tend to like this bag more for that. Um, I also like the outer bottle pockets a little bit better. They are bigger and I can fit larger water bottles here than I can in the Miss Fong. Again, you have some great organization in here as well. And then on the back you have this long zippered pocket where you can keep things like a tablet or notebooks or papers, whatever you want. And then you'd have these really nice backpack straps on the back. For function, um, I'm going to say that the Miss Fong probably wins that one because you do have the option to wear it as a crossbody and it has a little more options when it comes to the backpack straps and being able to put it onto a suitcase, different things like that. Um, for cleanability, these are both really easily um, cleanable bags. You can wipe down them both very, very easily. Um, with the Ryla pack, I know that they have mentioned that you can throw this in the washing machine if you need to, and I think that's really cool about this bag. So for cleanability, they're really, really close. It's almost a tie, but I'm going to say the Ryla pack wins that one. And then for comfort of the bag, on the Miss Fong, obviously you just have this seatbelt strap, which is fine. It's not uncomfortable by any means, but if we're comparing it to this Ryla pack that does have squishy kind of soft backpack straps, the Ryla pack wins that for sure. So my pick between these two for spring and summer is going to be the Ryla pack. The last set for round two is going to be the Dagny Dover Dakota backpack and the Itsy Ritzy boss bag. Let's talk about the color. Color first, I think they're both actually really pretty for spring and summer, but I am in love with this Liberty color from Dagny Dover, and I'm gonna say this one is the one I would choose for my springy summery bag if I only had to choose one. Um, for price, these are actually really similar. If you buy the Dagny Dover Dakota full price, it is going to be more expensive than the Itsy Ritzy, but if you get this bag right now, it is one of their sale colors and I think it's about $90, whereas the Itsy Ritzy is like $140. So for the price that I bought them at, the Dagny Dover wins the price round, but they are really similar in price. For function and pockets, I believe the Itsy Ritzy wins that. There's tons of internal organization. You have way more outside pockets. You can fit a huge water bottle here on the outside. It comes with a changing pad here in the back, and then it is just a bigger bag, so you can fit more in here. For the Dagny Dover, it is a really good size. I love that they've used the kind of walls of the bag to add different pockets so it's not just kind of an open backpack. But I think in the competition between these two, the Itsy Ritzy wins the function round. When it comes to cleaning both of these bags, the Dagny Dover would win this round. You can hand wash this bag cold, um, whereas the Itsy Ritzy, it's very nice and wipeable, but it is not washable. For the comfort category, that is really tricky because both of these backpacks are really, really comfortable. You have soft, cushy um, shoulder straps here and it does have the mesh on the back so it keeps you cool but back here this is faux leather so it can get a little bit hot on your back um, the Dagny Dover bag is all made of neoprene these backpack straps like I've mentioned before are kind of unreal they're super super squishy and soft and the back is really soft and I just find this bag to be exceptionally comfortable so I would say the Dagny Dover wins the comfort category. So the competition between these two was really hard because they're both excellent bags for this time of year, but for myself, I think I would go with the Dagny Dover. Okay, everyone, round two is done. The winners for today were the Ryla Pack, the Hat Brand Levy Bag, the Dagny Dover Dakota Backpack, and then also the Jujubee Be Right Back. So those are the bags that I'm going to be putting against each other, and they're gonna be competing next week, and then we will move on to round three, and then we'll move on to round four, where we find out the winner, and then I'll also be doing a giveaway that day, so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about this whole Bagness series and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Thanks for hanging out with me today and we will talk to you guys next time.